Hello and welcome back. Well, it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, life got in the way. I went on vacation and did some remodeling in the house. Uh, anyway, we're going to do something uh, a little unusual today. Uh, a friend of mine in Ohio restores uh, kids' toys, like uh, motorized toys that were made a long time ago. Uh, and he's got a, a tractor he's restoring. Uh, I guess a couple of them. And uh, he needs some steering wheels drilled. Uh, let me show you. Here's the steering wheel, uh, the original steering wheel. It's made out of plastic and it's broken right there. And uh, he had some made. I think he had them made. He's got several of them, three of them, that need to be drilled uh, for a really odd shaped hole. Uh, it's a quarter inch slot with rounded ends. Basically, it goes in this steering rod. And we're going to make this steering rod. It's not supposed to have that hole. But I'm going to make, make all that first. That's the first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to drill a hole. A uh, quarter inch slot with rounded ends. Uh, that's going to be kind of tricky. I think I got it figured out though. So we're going to start with that right there. First thing we're going to do is thread the end. It's got 3 8 24 threads on the end. Okay, I've got a piece of 3 8 rod here cut to length. I've tapered the end on it so the die will start over the top of that easily. And I've got a, a video on this uh, die holder I made. I'll put the link in the description area if you want to see it. But that's what we're going to use to thread the end here. Got the lathe in back gear. I don't think any of this is real critical, but I'm going to try to thread down to the same amount. Oh. Didn't really want to do that. That's about right. I'm going to thread down just a little bit more, but not much. Pretty close to being right. It's just very slightly more, but I like it. I don't think any of this is real critical, but we're going to make this piece right here. And these are two inches apart. So I'm going to drill a 3 8 hole and this one's 5 16 Okay, one of these needs to be 3 8 and the other needs to be 5 16 I'm going to use a bolt here. We've got to drill that hole right there. Uh, 532nd. Okay, half of 5 sixteenths is point 156. One. Should be right there.
Looks good. Now we got to grind or mill these two flats on here. And he does not want the hole in it. Okay, this original steering rod, the flats are parallel with this steering arm. And that's why I welded this on here before I milled the flats. I'm going to use this to uh, orient the flats on the shaft. So I've got a, a, a parallel set in my vise. And I've already made a couple of test cuts for depth and got it right. And I've got a set, I mean a locking uh, set screw lock collar, shaft collar right there. I'm going to run it up against the vise to control uh, the depth of that cut or the length of that cut. Okay, what I've done is just looked down the edge of this right here and made it parallel with the top of my vise. I know that's a little bit crude, but it'll work. Alternative would be to use a level. Setting a stop to limit the table travel. taking small bites because it's not very well supported out there on the end. Two, four, six. I was going for a quarter inch. It's a little bit under, but I think it'll be okay. So next step is to cut a a weird hole like that. I'll have to take a quarter inch mill, mill that out, and then figure out a way to cut that 3 8 radius on the end of that. Well, this steering wheel is going to be a little weird to hold in my mill, but I think if I take these jaws off, my vise will be large enough to clamp that. is sitting right in there on my vise. So I need something in my vise to hold it up like that. Well, that looks like centered. Okay, I've got my position this way locked. And I need to um, Look at my DRO and go 1 16th of an inch. This is quarter inch and I need the slot 3 8 this way. So it needs to be 1 16th larger on each side. So 0 0.0625. Set a stop. And I need to set the other stop. Okay, got my two table stops set so that I move one sixteenth one way and one sixteenth the other way. And I've got my end mill extended a little further out than I like, but I'm just going to walk it back and forth and uh, drill as I go. I think I'll turn some air on to keep that cut cleaned up. I 
could probably just go a little bit bigger until the shaft fit in there, but I'm going to try to make the... Right now it's cutting a, a quarter inch radius on the end of the slot. And I'm going to try to make it a three eighths radius. Okay, what this is, it's a piece of stock left over from where I established the correct depth of cut on the steering rod. And uh, when I milled it, I only milled it down about that far. So I ground this away right here. And what I'm going to do is use it to cut that radius right there inside the steering wheel. Uh, let me show you in the mill what I'm talking about. I guess that's good enough. <laughs> I like it. Well, that about wraps it up for today. That's how to drill a weird hole in, in some aluminum. Uh, now I got two more to do. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.